YouTube. It's your boy, Mr. Wavy, and today I'm back up in this thing with another video. And before I get too far going into the video, I'm gonna need for y'all to smash that like button. Go ahead on and smash it. Just punch it. Just punch your phone. Just hit that like button. But don't really punch your phone, alright? And subscribe. Hit that post notification bell, alright? And turn on all post notifications. And follow me on Instagram, the only Mr. Wavy, all one word. But today's video is gonna be about how should you start off your brush lessons, alright? For beginner wavy, so let go. YouTube is your boy, Mr. Webby, and I'm gonna just get straight into the video. I hope y'all like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram on the Mr. Webby on World Word. But let's just say you just starting off your 360 ways, 540 ways, 180 ways, or whatever ways you have, alright? So, you just got some hair, you just starting to go back your hair, but your hair is low. You don't want to go in with a hard brush because you just scrape your scalp and you be hollering and screaming about your scalp bleeding. So throw the hard brush out the window, alright? But don't really throw it out the window like you set it to the side and brush with a soft brush, alright? Go on with a soft brush. Like, because like your hair is low, you don't want to put a hard brush to your scalp. So once a couple weeks go by, and this is how you can tell that your hair is getting longer. Like when you start, like you, like when you can comb your hair and the hairs are going all the way back into the comb, and you can start combing your hair back, back and lay it back down with the comb. That's how you can tell when your hair is getting long. And once your hair reaches to that stage, boom, a medium brush. Go in with a medium brush, a medium hard. Just go in, boom, 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 boom. Then once you Past your time that you get it cut, that's when the hard brush come in. That's when you want to go in with a hard brush, all right? But, and let me give you another tip about using a hard brush. Do not apply apply a lot of pressure to the hard brush because it's just, even though you got a lot of hair, you still can damage the scalp, all right? So don't apply so much of pressure to your scalp. And another thing, do not use a hard brush on your crown. I always use a curved brush or the edges of your brush brush, alright? So, and then after you get done now, done doing that, just lay it down with a plastic bag and rag up. So, that was a little quick video of me telling y'all how to start off your brush session. Check out all my other videos and yeah, man, like it up.